Hello and welcome to News 9. I am Ms. Chita and first up, a person was cheated into having steroids by a homeopathy clinic in Mangalore. Sampath Kumar had approached the positive homeopathy clinic to get treated for diabetes. He was prescribed medication by the clinic. Sampath Kumar kept having the medicines according to the prescription. He noticed something very unusual. There was no improvement in his diabetic condition, but he had gained almost 20 kgs in weight. Well, this in fact shocked his family members and made Sampat Kumar test the medicine he was taking. The test results showed that Sampat Kumar was put on steroids by the homeopathy clinic. When the hospital authorities were confronted on the matter, they tried to evade Sampat Kumar's queries. Doctors early, Kuru do. Namd stetta mai ille muttila, mai muttila. Nan gaavagle salpa doubt bandhu. Idhu anta yaavno tar adhu nanu kattiya ki dalal. Noor anta ille ta kudle sur mande. Nan ge weight gain agle sai taatu. Nan do hipu kuda unda pagli soraatu. Adro nan six months early nan mati inu nilsi adan testi karsi de. Test noor aga dalal steroid de. Nan immediately drug controller ge. Hello. That is why our number one is not positive homeopathy. I don't know. 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 So my colleague Vergis joins us with more details on this. Well, Vergis is a shocking case there. This is one of the more uh, often seen boards not only in Mangalore but in other parts of uh, the state and this is the kind of medicines that they dole out. Well, uh, Nishita, what we should understand is that this particular clinic has around 16 different branches in this uh, per, in the state. And uh, in this one, we are in fact shocked to find out that uh, this person who had in fact gone to control his diabetes uh, condition was in fact fed on completely on steroids. Now, for eight months, he has been prescribed on this medicine. What he says is that when he reached the clinic for uh, consultation, he had doubts because none of the doctors or the so-called doctors that were produced in front by the clinic, what they and none of them in fact ensured that uh, uh, this person was in fact checked with the stethoscope or anything they would just immediately prescribed uh, medicines for him and asked him to be on it now this person had come all the way from Karkala to Mangalore to this particular homeopathy uh, clinic because there were advertisements in the newspaper and in other media saying that this pers uh, this particular clinic was in fact had the solution for uh, his diabetic uh, condition but what happened is within eight months after consuming those pills he put on 20 kgs in weight now this led to suspicion by his family members and that is when they went to check uh, out this uh, what the contents of this medicine and uh, suddenly they were shocked to find that this thing had uh, uh, diabetic uh, this uh, thing that was prescribed for as medicine for the diabetic condition in fact had steroids in him and that is why the uh, uh, the Sampath Kumar was in fact putting on weight and later he also came to know that people who had taken medicines from this place uh, one of his friends uh, she has in fact taken medicine, she's in Abu Dhabi and she also complained of uh, putting on weight after having medicines from this place. So it is quite a shocker that it is, uh, it came as a shocker for him and when, uh, when the News 9 along with Sampath Kumbha tried to confront the people over there, uh, the doc they were in fact very shy about the matter and they did not speak to us. They tried to evade the questions that were asked by Sampath Kumar. In fact, Sampath Kumar has all the documents with regards to it. He has in fact contacted the drug, uh, uh, drug controller, well the drug controller said that the homeopathy and other uh, allied medicines don't come under them and that it has to be referred to another agency and he has in fact given the case to the other agencies he's in fact approached them and he's asked them to take action against this particular hospital uh, the other shocking part is that every time he went for a consultation when he was on their treatment it was a different doctor and they kept lying to him saying that the doctors that had earlier consulted him had moved to some other place he was sent for some other reason and so every time it was a new person who was prescribing medicines to him now this shock he he has in fact uh, tried to expose this clinic for the kind of mess they have done in his life. So they, in fact, he wants others also to be careful in this matter, Nishita. 
Right, absolutely. And also now that uh, the drug controller has asked him to go to Ayush, what is the case, uh, status of the case as of now, Vargas? Well, he has uh, what uh, Samad Kumar has done is, in fact, he has given the uh, the he's given the uh, medicines uh, uh, that have been prescribed by Positive uh, Homeopathy Clinic to him, and those medicines will be, in fact, tested by Ayush, and they will, in fact, ensure that what are the contents in it. He's also given the test reports that uh, that was given to him by the uh, laboratory in which it was tested earlier so uh, he has given all the documentary proof that is required to in fact indict a positive clinic with regards uh, to uh, the kind of uh, uh, to the kind of uh, uh, medicines that was prescribed so uh, he is in fact mulling over legal action but he wants the ayush uh, controller to in fact take care of uh, the kind of mess it is uh, 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 this clinic has done and therefore to create the uh, government documents that uh, themselves uh, show proof that this particular product or this medicine that the call it was prescribed him was in fact steroids right uh, thank you for joining us with all those uh, details there but guess there we have it a resident of uh, Mangalore had approached a positive homeopathy clinic for uh, a treatment in diabetes but instead he put on almost 20 kgs of weight and then he got the medicines tested only to learn that uh, it had steroids in them Well, this is uh, the homeopathy clinic that you see in the television screens. When uh, the victim approached uh, the drug controller regarding the same, the drug controller referred him to uh, Ayush, saying that uh, homeopathy medicines do not come under the drug controller. <laughs> Moving on now, a jewellery store owner who was abducted in Bengaluru has been rescued. The victim has been identified as Ram Dayal, who is the owner of Suguna Jewellery Shop. The jewellery shop is located in Doddanakundi. The kidnappers had demanded a hefty ransom of 10 lakh rupees for the release of Dayal. His brother Dean Dayal informed the HAL police about the abduction, who decided to lay a trap to nab the abductors. Dean Dayal agreed to pay the ransom amount to secure the release of his brother. Accordingly, the abductors asked him to meet them near Metanahalli Bridge with the money. But the cops were already waiting for them and managed to nab one of the abductors and also rescue Ram Dayal. They have launched a manhunt to nab the arrest of the abductors. Well, this case uh, created quite a shock, especially after one uh, jewellery shop owner, one jeweller who had come into Bengaluru recently was abducted by cab drivers from the airport and brutally murdered. Hence, uh, this case had raised uh, many suspicions as to what could be the status of uh, Ram Dayal. But fortunately, the police uh, have managed to capture the accused as well as uh, rescue the victim. The abductors had reportedly asked for a ransom of 10 lakh rupees and uh, it was only after the victim's brother approached the police did the police lay the trap. Uh, the brother agreed to pay the ransom and when the abductors came to the Medanahalli gate, that's where they were captured. The man that you see in the television screens is the victim in question. This is Ram Dayal who has now been rescued by the police.